Curling. Pushing. Twisting. These are the top 10 exercises for building bigger arms. Starting with the most impressive muscle in the arm, biceps. Every biceps exercise involves a curling movement, hinging the arm at the elbow. Many trainers prefer free weights for biceps, with barbells a popular choice. Good for working up to heavy weights, but the grip is fixed, so you're missing out on an important function of the biceps, twisting the arm. Dumbbells allow you to twist and curl in one movement, so we asked Fit Media's top trainers to recommend their most effective exercises for biceps using free weights. And the answer came in two parts. Because the bicep is made up of two different muscles, the short head on the inside of the arm, adding thickness to the arm, and the long head on the outside, giving you that bicep peak. So we're starting with the bigger of the two, the long head, and our first recommended exercise, seated incline dumbbell curl. Placing the elbow behind the body shifts the focus onto the long head of the bicep. And being seated stops you swinging, helping isolate the bicep. Elbow back, two seconds up, two seconds down. This exercise gives you a full range of movement on that long head, building that bicep peak. Plus, there's a range of grip variations that come with choosing dumbbells. Making incline dumbbell curl our first recommended exercise for growing biceps. And for the short head of the biceps, spider curls. Just as having the elbows behind the body works the long head, setting the elbows in front of the body puts more effort on the short head, on the inside of the arm. Again, using the bench to prevent swinging. Most trainers prefer dumbbells on this exercise for a greater range of movement. But a barbell can be better for heavier weights. Again, slow and controlled, helping add thickness to the arm. Making spider curls our recommended exercise for the short head of the bicep. Next bicep exercise, concentration curl. There's a number of options to fix the elbow in position to prevent swinging. This barbell strict curl locks the elbows against the wall. Here, the elbows are by the sides, putting equal effort on the long and short head of the bicep. Concentration curl is often done with elbows resting on a pad or bench. This puts more effort on the short head of the bicep. But the problem is resistance. This version of the concentration curl gives you plenty of resistance in the middle part of the movement. But when you get to the top, the resistance eases off. You're pulling in towards you, but the weight is pushing down. Hardly any resistance as you're squeezing the muscle. Same problem on the preacher curl. Resistance in the middle, much less at the top. Some machines solve this problem by the way the weights are set up, maintaining resistance across the full range of movement but it depends on the machine. Most trainers use machines like this for heavier weights, using a shorter range of movement. To concentrate on the middle part of the movement where the muscle is strongest, Overall though, our trainers recommend a tried and trusted version of the concentration curl, with the upper arm resting on the inside of the leg. This position allows you a full range of motion compared to a preacher curl. Arm in a neutral position, working both heads of the bicep equally. And you can add that extra twist at the top for a full squeeze. 
making single arm concentration curl number three on our recommended list of bicep exercises. Four, cable curl. So far, we looked mainly at dumbbells and barbells, but cables can also play an important part in biceps training. Cables have many advantages, with a choice of handles for different grips, and they're easy to use, for example, in a drop set. But the problem is that resistance curve. On a standing cable exercise, the resistance is all in the middle of the movement, hardly any at the top, at the point where you're squeezing the muscle. One solution is to go for a concentration curl, locking the elbow for resistance across the whole movement, allowing a full squeeze at the top. But our trainer's favorite version of the cable curl uses a bench. For this incline bench cable curl, single arm, upper arm locked, using the cable for resistance all the way up to the full squeeze on the muscle. As we know, an exercise like this with the elbow in front of the body is working more on the short head for thickness in the bicep. But if you feel the long head needs more work, you can still use the cable with the elbow behind the body with this single arm cable curl. Overall, our trainers recommended cable exercise for biceps, the incline bench cable curl. Before we move on to triceps, a reminder that all the trainers you're watching have their own complete workouts to follow here on Fit Media Channel. So make sure you're subscribed and check out our playlists for more. So now, triceps. Triceps are made up of three muscles. The lateral head, the biggest of the three, going down the side of the arm creating that horseshoe shape of the triceps. The long head down the back of the arm, adding thickness to the overall look of the arm. And the medial head on the inside of the arm, sitting underneath the long head. Our experts recommend different exercises for each of the three heads. Starting with tricep pushdown. Pushdown movements target the lateral head. usually done with cables, arms beside the body, upper arm locked, hinging at the elbow. Using a straight bar puts slightly more effort on the lateral head of the tricep, while a V-bar offers a more neutral grip, or handles, which let you push the fists out to the sides for a greater squeeze. There's also the choice of overhand, or underhand grip. Many gym goers ask which is better. The truth is, there's very little difference. But if you choose underhand, don't grip the bar too tightly, as this will bring in the forearms. Whatever grip you use, the real key to this exercise is squeezing the muscle, locking the triceps as you extend the arm. So try different options to get that full extension. A rope can help you bring the fists out more to the sides. Using two separate cables lets you bring the fists further behind the body. Or maybe you prefer single arm for that full lockout. Whichever works best for you. But always look for the perfect angle of the body. If necessary, leaning forward slightly so you can feel the resistance at the point where you're fully extending the arm. While there's no one option more effective than the others, the range of variations available make the cable pushdown an essential exercise for triceps, at number 5 on our list. At 6, Overhead Extension. While exercises with the arms by your sides target the lateral head of the triceps, extending the arm overhead works more on the long head, giving that thickness at the back of the arm. 
elbow next to the ear. Focus on simply bending at the elbow. Many trainers do this exercise standing. But being seated means you can't use the legs to help get the weight up. The lying version is called a skull crusher. Often done with a bar. But changing to dumbbells gives you a chance to vary the path of the weight. For example, by coming across the body for a greater range of movement. Some trainers find they can get a greater stretch on that long head by using a decline bench because it allows them to bring the hands behind the head while others use an incline bench, again, with a full range of motion, but putting less stress on the shoulder joint. Moving to dumbbells allows you to add a twist, but there's less resistance at the top of the movement. Nothing to push against when you're squeezing the muscle, when the weight is directly over the elbow. So for resistance across the full range of movement, our trainers again recommend cables. Cables maintain resistance through to that key point of lockout, here, the moment when you're looking for a full squeeze on the muscle. Cables also offer a choice of grips and angles, from using a bench for stability, to standing using the handles, making cable overhead extensions our experts recommended exercise for the lateral head of the tricep. Next recommended exercise for triceps, diamond push-up. Here we're targeting the medial head of the tricep. Sitting underneath the long head, it's the smallest of the three but training it can add size and overall width to the upper arm. The medial head comes into play on push-down movements when you use an underhand grip. But the best exercise to fill out the medial head of the tricep, according to our trainers, is the diamond push-up. All push-ups involve some work from the triceps, but here, the diamond hand position specifically targets that medial head, completing your work on all three heads of the tricep. At eight, tricep kickback. This is an exercise that not only gives a full range of movement, but also maximum resistance as you squeeze the tricep. If you're in a hurry, it can be done with both arms but there's a risk of swinging, so it's better to go for single arm. The free arm resting on a bench for stability and protecting your lower back. But for the perfect resistance curve, it's back to our old friend, the cable. With a rope kick back, leaning forward to find the perfect angle for hitting triceps. Double rope so you can bring the fists fully behind the body completing our list of recommended triceps exercises. So biceps and triceps are done, but there's other smaller muscles that also need attention to fill out the overall look of the arm. And first, the brachialis, a smaller muscle that sits under the biceps. For this muscle, recommended exercise is a cross-body dumbbell curl. Leaning slightly forward, hammer grip. Dumbbell comes up and across the front of the body. As you develop this muscle, it's going to push up from underneath the bicep, adding extra thickness to the arm. Finally, forearms. Many trainers skip forearms, but for a fully balanced arm, you need to get the forearms in proportion with the upper arm. But for forearms, our trainers recommend adapting some of the exercises you're already doing. The lower arm muscles assist in the twisting movement of the arm, so adding a twist to your bicep curl will bring in the forearms. On a bar, 
changing to an overhand grip will also make the forearms do more work. Developing the forearms over time by mixing it up with twists and grips. Rounding off our list of top 10 recommended exercises for arms.